So the question came up, why is La Boheme an important opera? In fact, one of the most famous operas ever written that people go to see every day of the year in its opera seasons around the world. Uh, there's no simple answer to that question. Of course, if you go to see La Boheme, you'll find out why. But I want to just give you in 30 seconds, a historical overview of Italian opera, right? It starts out around 1600 and all the stories are about gods. And then as it progresses, the stories become a little bit more about rulers, kings, the upper classes. And gradually as Italian opera develops, more and more people come to see it. It's no longer just for the ruling classes. And as regular people come to see opera, opera becomes written about regular people. Now, there were characters in the 17th century operas that might have been comic relief who were, you know, uh, the nursemaid or whatever. But uh, La Boheme is all about regular people. It's about regular people having regular lives. And Puccini, the composer, elevates it to a level where we really care about seemingly ordinary things. A person falling in love, a couple falling in love, a woman who's deeply in love but is sick and has to give up her lover because she knows that she's near the end of her life. The other part of the question was, why has La Boheme encouraged so many spin-offs? And I think the answer again is that it's a story we all relate to. Falling in love, the real thing, is crucial to all of us. And the threat, the possibility that it could end, whether it's just because of a breakup or because of something more tragic, is always there. Puccini has a way of writing heart-wrenching, beautiful melodies and writing for the voice in a way that we really feel like we're on stage with them. We connect with those singers with their fantastic melodies. So I think that's a tiny part of the answer. Why is La Boheme so successful, perhaps the most successful opera of all times? And like I say, the way for you to find out for sure is go see it.